Why would you have the same exact procedure to start it up as you do as an emergency shutoff that I don't really like? <gasps> a drone that is able to get another drone out of a pond. Here we go! It's getting it! How's it going, folks? I'm Mike with New Way Ag. Today's video is going to be educational and also entertaining, so make sure to hit the subscribe button. I have a little bit of an issue of a feature that's on the T40 that I don't really like. I've addressed DJI, and we're gonna show it to you guys today. So we're gonna get on the top of the best drone spray trailer on the market if you're looking to get tens of thousands of acres done. It is the New Way Ag drone trailer. You can get it directly from us, newwayag.com, or you can get it from an AgriSpray drones retailer near you. So contact them if you're looking to see one of these things in person, you gotta check it out. Made for running efficiently. Let's get up here. Let's take this T40 off and get up there. So to, to engage the motors, you pull in and down like that and it, it engages the motors and starts it. That's an important part to this video. Okay, let's go up there. We got the T40 in hover. Let's imagine one guy grabs a controller of a drone that's already in the sky and goes and he pulls both sticks inward. <laughs> no more liquid payload. <laughs> it actually shuts him down. My thing is, it's a safety concern to me because if you have a, a new guy on the sticks and he pulls him in like this, yeah. it's dying. It literally, did you see it? It just nosed over and bam. Oh, it completely went under. That's my concern, DJI. Why would you have the same exact procedure to start it up as you do as an emergency shutoff. Make it like this, both sticks in, warning, do you wanna shut it down? Or both sticks in and maybe push, then shut it down as an emergency shutdown? I don't know, but I yeah. think that's what you should do. So this is what I say, we hook it up with the fly cart and fly it out. Yeah. But somebody's going in there. I say we rock, paper, scissors it. <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> Your here, 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 here. Okay, so we can't tell you each other what we're gonna pick, but let's rock, paper, scissor it. And if we happen to all hit the same thing, like all paper, all rock, or all scissor, then the cameraman has to go in. That's it, all right, rock, paper, scissors, whoever's going in, whoever doesn't go in is gonna have to fly the fly cart to get it out. Ready? One, two, three, shoot. Well, I'm, oh. you're in. I'm glad. I'm in. Thanks, Jay. Yeah, you lost. <laughs> Mike gets the fly. <laughs> That right. couldn't have been better, too. You didn't want that, did you? <laughs> All right, let's go get the fly cart. All right, let's do it. DJI fly cart has a winch system on it. You can lower things. This thing flies for a long way, it uses two batteries. We're gonna pull it out and show it to you because I'm telling you right now, in the industrial side of things, like tower building, transportation, the thing is, seeing them in person is different than watching videos. They are way bigger, they do way more than you think. So let's uh, get the batteries. You know what I'm telling you? I gotta say, I gotta quit saying, you know what, or I'm telling you what. That I'm telling you what is overrated and overused. This is the fly cart. This thing, I'm telling you what. Oh, there I did it again. I'm telling you what. You've been telling us what a lot of times. I'm telling you, you're going into the pond. <laughs> Glad it's not me. This is the fly cart, like an ag drone. So it's the same platform as an ag drone, T40, T50, but big differences are flight time, two batteries, has a parachute on it, has a winch system on it, it has a double clicker, extra safety, listen. So I'm gonna give you this rope. You just put it around the leg, and just kind of clip it on there. When I lower the winch, you remember how to clip it. Who's more excited to see him go into cold water or me pulling that drone out of there? So there we go, we got that. It has a uh, different hum to it. This thing takes off like crazy. All right, let's go get this drone out of here. So I'm gonna show you how this winch system comes down. When I wanna lower the winch, I just get in position and let it down, just like that. How nice is that? You lower it, 
and you put it up. Okay, Jay's going in. Look at him go. No, oh, he's going for it, dude. Here we go. That's getting it. Oh, yeah. Go for it, Kurt. Oh, easily. That's how you get your T40s out of a pond. Look at that. I'm telling you right now, folks, that's how you get your T40s out. Look at this. It does the auto controlling. So here we go. A drone that is able to get another drone out of a pond. These things, mark my word, will be used for things that I can't even think about right now. If you are an outfitter, you are an industrial guy, like let's say you do cell towers or anything that you need lifting done and transport it, these things can totally get it done. That's all I got for this video. Thanks so much for being here, subscribing. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't. This is for educational and entertaining purposes. We wanted to show you that I have a little bit of a concern of how easily you can shut these drones down while they're in flight. I don't like it. Hopefully DJI, you do something about it and make it an extra safety feature that you have to do three things at once to get it to shut down like that. But that's all I got this week's video on New Ag. I appreciate it. We'll see you guys on the next one. DJI flight cart, it's capable of picking up uh, 100 pounds. Watch the dog poop. <laughs> nice. I mean, that was like a.